Uh, serendipity. Uh, this is the one that I want to insert that airplane in which I flew all through the Midwest and sometimes sometimes my friend was who was a pilot would fall asleep in the back seat and I'd be flying that airplane across the middle of Kansas or something and I'd hear the squawking coming in over those big heavy duty radio stations that would be operating out of the Midwest. And it's called Serendipity which is a good name. It's like you're looking for one thing you find another. I know it's cosmic. It's like heavy man. Mystery inscrutable to regular analytic tool, logic beyond scope of regular academic exercise. Even with reference to 20 ancient texts, I could not begin to phantom how in that parking garage, Yadik, who always had kept counsel his own, this, the one instance only interrupted the day's normal business routine and gathered up patience enough so to explain to me more than a half a dozen separate times a truth that had eluded Ken until that very early morning when, during a heavy rainstorm, I drove through Brooklyn and brought you flowers. You, Sister Olin, Baltic Island woman, me sprung from the landlocked plains of Illinois. Consider it, the million to one odds are stacked against our favor. I, I, I mean, duh, I trust you may come to believe that matter rests beyond outside human command. Whatever the divine designates together, no mortal may draw asunder. This is it. I do. I do love you. Tonight the pilot naps in the back seat. I fly the aircraft. The bright rollover arrows signal the glide path, and over the wire, direct to my ear, 10,000 watts propel the voice. It says, you do. You do love her. That's it.